Hello everyone, welcome to Wild Woodland Lavender Farm. My name is Carrie. Uh, a couple videos ago, maybe the last video, I don't remember, I think a couple videos ago, I showed some items I got at Dollar Tree um, for gardening. I got a hat and I got some seeds and I had been inspired to go there by Bushcraft Family. He found some microgreen seeds there and then he also got some supplies for growing them. And so he was showing what you can do at home with microgreens and whatnot. So I thought that would be a good challenge to do, is to follow up on that and go find some of my own microgreen seeds there and grow them. So I did, and I you had probably seen in that other video, I got a mild mix and a hot mix. And I had mentioned that I would show you a, maybe a different way to grow them than what you see in all the videos where they have a tray and then a growing medium and um, you put the seeds on there and then you spray them or water them or whatever. And I remembered what my mom always did growing up with alfalfa seeds to grow alfalfa sprouts at home. And she just used a jar. So I have here, um, I use a wide mouth jar and then I have this uh, lid on there that's specifically for growing sprouts, which you don't have to have that, but at any rate, um, you start with about a tablespoon of alfalfa seeds, put them in there, and then I just put these in here this afternoon. So for the first eight hours to overnight, you're going to soak the seeds. So that's the stage that I'm at right here. I'm just going to do alfalfa seeds along with the microgreens, just to kind of um, show you along the way what it's like. Um, but anyway, I grew up with my mom doing this and I thought that instead of growing the microgreens in a tray where you then snip them off and then eat them that way, I would try growing them in a jar like the alfalfa seeds. So that's what I'm going to be doing. This is going to take several days worth of videos just to kind of show you the daily steps that you do and then we'll see how it does. Maybe it won't do well growing in a jar. Maybe it is better to grow them in a tray. We'll see. But I just think if you're trying to do things really simply and you don't want to spend the money on the tray and the growing medium and all that kind of stuff, I just want to see if it is actually possible just to grow them in a jar like alfalfa sprouts. So that's what we're going to do. So I have here the two mixes. The mild greens only take about five days and the spicy, the hot mix, takes about 10 days. So I'm going to save this one for later. The, for video purposes, this one takes a shorter amount of days, so it'll be quicker to get the video out to show you guys. So all I'm going to do is open this up. Well, first let's talk about what we'll need. I already showed you the jar and the lid. What if you don't have that special lid for growing sprouts? You don't have to have one. My mom grew sprouts in a jar without one of those fancy lids. And before I got this lid, I grew sprouts in a jar without this fancy lid. But if you do have this lid, or if you want one, simple to find at Amazon. Um, I forget what the search engine might pop up for you as. Just uh, maybe a sprouts lid or, I don't know, something like that. Search for, for lids for growing sprouts and you might, it might come up for you. Maybe I'll try to find a link for you too. Anyway, um, and put it in the description box. So anyway, what you'll need is just a jar. If you don't have this lid, then there's a couple different options you can do. You can use a coffee filter. The purpose, the main purpose you have here is you want to be able to drain water out without all the seeds escaping. So you can use a coffee filter. You can use a couple layers of cheesecloth. You can use one of those really thin, probably a really thin, um, the flower cloth towels. Um, basically something that you can screw on over with this to keep it on here. You could even possibly, if you have like all the extra lids from canning, if you don't throw those away, you can use one of those, punch a few holes in it and put it over top that way. Or you could even use a plastic lid of some kind and poke holes into that. You basically just want to be able to pour out the water. So any kind of lid that you have um, that you could pour the water out um, will work. So with this, you would just use the coffee filter and then screw it on like that. 
and then that would allow you to pour the water out, keep the seeds in. So that's what I'm going to be doing with this one, since this lid is already on this one. So that's really all you'll need. The jar, something to cover the lid with to pour out water, and then if you don't have another type of lid that's all in one piece, um, then you want to use this. You don't even have to use a mason jar. I saw somebody doing uh, sprouts in a water bottle, and they poked lids in the in the water bottle lid, poked, poked holes in the lid of the water bottle, and they were able to use that. To get the alfalfa sprouts out, you probably have to cut the top of the jar out because they will fill that area uh, with their growth. So, but that, you don't have to have this kind of jar. You can use any kind of jar you have at home that has a lid or a way to screw this on. You can even use a rubber band around. So if you have a different kind of jar, you can just use a rubber band around it and not even uh, one of the rings. So lots of options for growing it. So jar, lid, cover, and then the seeds and water. That's all you need. So the main reason I want to show this is just to help encourage people to grow something at home. This is very easy to do in the winter time. You actually just want to leave these kind of in a dark spot while they while they grow and then like in the last day or two bring them out so that they green up a bit. It's very simple. It doesn't cost very much. These are now $1.25, the new dollar. And um, it's, it's nutrition that you've grown in your home for not very much money. And I think it's a good option. And it also helps you get into the growing mode uh, for all you gardeners out there that are just dying to grow something. It's just now getting season here for me to start growing stuff. Um, but this is fun to grow over the winter so you get those greens for inexpensive and uh, just something you can grow at home. So with the alfalfa sprouts, I do about a tablespoon. That's how much it's turned out to be in there. They've already started um, swelling from the water. This is how big they are to begin with. See if it'll focus for you. There you go. Okay, now with the these seeds, a tablespoon isn't going to be as many seeds as this, but that's okay because they're going to grow into bigger plants than the alfalfa. So I think what's in here is about a tablespoon, so I'm just going to add in the whole shebang. It's more than I thought, but it is about a tablespoon. Is that all? That's all. One more. It's going to stay in there. So there you go. That's a nice little handful there. Just put them in the jar. Make sure the jar is clean. And then you're just going to add some water so that they're covered and have enough to soak into them. I just do about that much usually. Shake it, stir it a little bit, make sure all the seeds are wet. You don't want to stir it too much though because then you get seeds climbing up the side of the jar there and you really don't want the seeds up on the side of the jar because they'll get dried out, they won't soak up the water and that's what you want them to be doing. So after you have the water in there you're just going to put your lid on top of it and you're not going to drain the water out right now. You need to let it soak eight hours to overnight and then the next day I'll show you what to do. Like I said this is going to be several days. This is day one and we'll see you tomorrow on day two. All right, here we are on day two of growing sprouts or microgreens in a jar. This here is my alfalfa seeds, and then these are the microgreens that I got at Dollar Tree. And if you look closely, I don't know if you can see, you might see there's, they're actually starting to sprout already. Pretty cool. So now is the time, soak them overnight. Now is the time you're going to drain off the water that's in there. Then I'm going to add some fresh water, um, rinse them off, and then drain the water off. You're not going to leave them soaking the entire time that they grow because you don't want them in water all the time. So I'm just going to carefully pour the water out here. And there you have a nice mass. I'll add some fresh water in there to rinse them out. 
And we'll do the same with this one. This one had the uh, coffee filter on it. Let's see how that actually drains out. Good. A little slow going. Not done yet. Oh, doggy wants out. All right. So we have almost all the water out of that. There's still a little bit in there. You want to make sure to get all the water out. It's not so important right now because I'm just going to put some more water in there to rinse. Um, so I'm going to go get some water. But first, um, I was actually at one of our local health food stores and they have these in store. So this is what it looks like. It's called the Sprout Lid. You can find them on Amazon or if you have a health food store near you that would carry this kind of stuff, you can check there. So Sprout Lid by Handy Pantry is what it is. And it's got directions on the back that you can follow. Okay, I'll be right back. I gotta let the dog out. Okay, side on the farm pug is now outside where he can be near me. And whimper. Yes, hello pups. Hello pups. You can't do that. I need my arm. Thank you. Yes, I need my arm. Okay, so now that I have this other sprout lid, I'm gonna go ahead and take the uh, coffee filter off of this one, which you would want to take it off now anyway, so you can add the water and strain it. There's some seeds stuck on here. Don't mean to make you watch me do this, but it is what it is. <laughs> okay, can't waste a seed. They're all precious, right? Okay, got them all. I think I dropped one. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is just pour a little bit more water in there, shake it around a little, get my new lid out. These are so much more handier than the other options out there, just because this is what it's designed for. It'll keep those seeds in. All right, so just gonna rinse it out and then drain that water out again, and then I had mentioned the things that you'd need yesterday. There's one more thing that you'll need, and that is something to prop the jar up to um, keep it upside down. You'll want to turn it upside down so that any extra water that's in there will um, drip out and not remain in with the seeds. Hi. Hello. <laughs> Doing the same thing with the alfalfa sprouts. Just gonna rinse those out real good. I really can put a lid on a jar, I swear. <laughs> Come on, there we go. All right, swish it around a little. Drain all the water out. And then find a container that you can just prop it up in. This one's not gonna be good because you don't want it completely upside down, although these jars, these lids actually have a thing on them, little bumps you can see on there, designed to help keep it off of the counter, but basically you don't want it flat against the counter. You want it up so that the water can filter out um, so I'm gonna need to find a different container because this one's gonna keep it upright. Um, well, mostly, I guess it'll tip. So anyway, that's it for day two. For the rest of the days, until the sprouts have grown to the uh, maturity that you want them, this is what you do. You just kind of, you wanna keep them kind of in a darker spot. If you keep them in a lighter spot, the sprouts will turn darker green sooner, but sometimes you want that growth without them turning the nice dark green to begin with. Then you can put them in the sunlight as you're about ready to harvest them and they'll be they'll green up nicely after that. So anyway, this is day two. Drain off the soaking water, rinse them, and then set them to drain and then find a nice, cool, darker place to put them. All right, we'll see you next time for day three.
All right, so here we are. This is actually about day seven now. I'm gonna show you what I've done with them um, all the days up from the last segment to now, but I wanna show you how much they have grown. These are the alfalfa seeds, and obviously, you know, there's a lot in there that, um, you know, a lot of seeds in there, so it, it took up a lot of the jar space when it's grown. And then this one, of course, the bigger seeds didn't take up as much space, and so I did got a lot less, but these are the microgreens from the Dollar Tree store packet. And you can see they've grown up nice in there, a little bit all tangled together, but that's all right, because when you pull them out to serve them, you just tear them, you know, pull some out of the clump. Um, obviously not a whole lot. You could actually probably, if you do a quart size jar, you could probably do two or three of those packets. Um, but if you just want a little bit at a time, just do one packet. I just did this to see, first of all, how much it would produce and to see if they would grow well in a jar, much like alfalfa seeds do. And I would say they do. I'm actually going to leave these for a few more days to get a little bit bigger. So um, I'll rinse these out again as I've done on the other days and set them to drain again. These I'll rinse out, but then I'm going to take them out of the jar and place them in another container. I have this plastic green one. It doesn't have to be like this. Um, you could just use the same jar if you wanted, but for my family to use them, having a container like that uh, makes it easier to access. So we're just going to use that transfer these over. So I'll show you what I do with these. Um, I showed you in the last segment what I did, but with these types of lids, you can actually, you know, use cold water, that's warmish, okay. Uh, you can actually just stick this underneath the faucet and it'll get the water, helps not to have the water so high. It'll actually let the water in through the lid. So I have the water in there. I'm just going to shake it around a bit. Not roughly shake it, just gently swirl it around, swish it around, and then you're going to let the water drain. And then because I'm done with these, I'll just open that lid right up. And you can see there's some seeds in there that didn't germinate. That's just going to happen. Not every seed will. And then we'll take it out. Let's drain some more. And then as you need it, you can just pull some out. And you'll want to put these in the fridge now. I let them, I have them growing out just on the counter, but um, once you're there to a point where you want them to stop growing, then you'll put them in the fridge and that will help keep them at that point until you're ready to use them. Now for these, I'm just going to rinse and then put them back on the counter to grow just a little bit more for probably two or three more days. So I've got the water in there. Just gonna shake it around, swirl gently. And then drain it. But you can see that within a few days, a week, you'll have some greens that are ready to eat. Fresh, nutritious greens. And you don't have to dig into soil to do it. So. For those of you who don't have space to grow food, you can at least grow microgreens, alfalfa sprouts, cabbage sprouts, mung beans. There's all kinds of things that you can grow in a jar. You don't even need little trays and the growing, you know, the greenhouse setup or anything. You just need a jar. You don't even need the special lid, but it helps. <laughs> but just to show you, you can grow microgreens without the whole huge setup just a nice small scale ready for you to grab from the fridge whenever you're ready for some healthy greens. So thanks for joining us this time on 
Wild Woodland Lavender Farm as I show you an alternative growing solution for microgreens. We'll see you next time. Bye.